What's up YouTube? So in this video, I'll be doing another web shooter project. I think it's like version three or something. Version four. This flickering a little bit. God, I hate that. Let's try pink. Pink's good. You guys just keep crushing it with support and likes, so thank you. Clearly it's something you want to keep seeing. And also, if you guys didn't know, that there is in fact a new Spider-Man movie coming out. I think sometime in July. Uh, I figured this would be the perfect time to do a bunch of web stuff. And don't worry, I'm still doing other projects as well. Uh, I've got more jet engine stuff going, as well as some new stuff. So there's definitely gonna be a little bit of something for everyone. Uh, and if you have any cool ideas of uh, modifications I could do to this project, drop them down below in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. So uh, the version I'll be making in this video has to do with the uh, new Spider-Man movie. Basically, I'm gonna be using my 3D printer, print a really cool functional um, 3D printed web shooter that actually works that you can swap out web cartridges with and hopefully it'll look really cool and uh, somewhat like the movie does because um, my previous web shooters have actually been pretty close um, at least in functionality wise to uh, how Spider-Man's actual web shooters work um, like they have interchangeable cartridges so I figured might as well go along with the movie and uh, make one that relates to it if you do have access to the 3D printer awesome because I'm making all of the 3D models that I make available for you to download and print yourself I'll put them in the description as well so yeah that includes this uh, new really sleek looking I think version 3 web shooter as well as the uh, wristbands. Now I do understand that a lot of you don't have 3D printers and don't worry I still got you covered. My other web shooter videos show you how to do that as well. Uh, super easily it takes like five minutes um, using just two ordinary lighters. And to top it all off Instagram web shooter giveaways going on right now. Head over to my Instagram first link in the description like the picture of a uh, me with the uh, new web shooter I made. Uh, so far I've sent out I think like three of these web shooters and uh, also giving away a fire sword if you're interested. Link in the description, like, follow, like this video as well. That way I get more likes and you get web shooters. Let's do this build. Alright guys, so here is the middle part of the web shooter. This is like the base. So if you have not seen any of my other videos that use this uh, fuel cartridge technique, here's a very quick recap of uh, how to make it. And then you're left with something just like this. Pretty sure that's a Chainsmokers song. Like Copyright can't play it. So uh, you're left with, this is gonna be our lighter cartridge that'll hold our web solution and uh, you can put a bunch of different stuff in here um, so it just slides in quite nicely like that. Snaps into place um, and it's not gonna fall out. The one thing I didn't show how to do very clearly in my uh, first 3D printed web version uh, was the trigger mechanism. All it is is a little piece of uh, plastic with a hole in it. Um, that fits down in this uh, slot right here and it extends out in front of this to your wrist um, and allows your fingers to activate the trigger so basically it'll bend down and webs will shoot out and to attach it all you do is like screw like a screw through uh, this cross section right here um, so yeah let me show you how to do that
as you can see, just 3D printed trigger right here and just a screw through the opening right there. Uh, I did, in the 3D model, there isn't actually any holes. What it is, I just heated up a screwdriver and poked it through the top. And then I just screwed a screw right through and it uh, works great. Moving on. So for the straps of this web shooter, I'm actually gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm not just gonna be using some nylon bands. What I have right here is this. So this is a special type of 3D filament. Basically, it's uh, super flexible, and uh, I think it'll work perfectly for the uh, band part of uh, the web shooter. And plus, it's also clear, so I could probably add some really cool LED lights as well. Just to give this thing kind of my own personal touch. So check this stuff out, guys. Like, as you can see, it's, uh, it's actually really stretchy. Uh, let's see how much I can stretch this before it breaks. Holy sh! this stuff is strong. Wow. Ah, that took a lot of energy to break this. So that gives me a lot of confidence that uh, this uh, wristband system will work. Okay, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna load this in my printer and uh, fire it up. The uh, Ninja Flex wristband 3D print went a little worse than expected. Um, here's what we got. That's a clean print right there. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, amazing print quality out of that. Holy sh**. Look at this. The ironic part is it actually looks like kind of spider webs. If any of you know how to use like Ninja Flex 3D filament and know how to make it so it doesn't come out like a this. So let me know in the comments below, because clearly I don't. But that's okay, because uh, of course I always got a plan B. So I'm gonna be trying a 3D pen. Basically all this 3D print was was just like kind of a strap. the two wristbands. As you can see, they look pretty cool considering I did them with a 3D pen. Um, but I think it actually works almost better because uh, this way it looks like they're actually kind of spun from spider silk. And especially because they're like stretchy and uh, have all these like lines going through them. I think it's gonna look especially cool when I uh, throw some lights on them as well. Alright guys, so I finished up the web shooter and uh, here it is. As you can see, it looks very cool. I actually did a little bit of detailing with a silver sharpie. I just basically colored all the edges silver. It looks very sleek. Um, and then yeah, I added on some lights to the back um, and I mounted the battery right here. Like there's really no good place to mount the battery unless I wanted to make this more bulky. Like I could have put on the back here. Didn't want to do that because then the front wouldn't look as cool. This is a removable battery, so it just takes three button cells. Pops right back in here. It's just a little spring. You know how batteries work. Don't need to explain that. And then this just fits on your wrist. Uh, there's a little bit of Velcro on the straps. And then we are good to go. Uh, I'm going to kill the lights and uh, turn this on just so you can really get the full effect. Light transition. Hey, there we go. Whoa, this looks cool. Just now noticing this backdrop. What, this is a cool studio. Switching it on right now. 
Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that glow action. The bands are lit. That is cool looking in my opinion. As I said before, it runs off of these modified lighter cartridges. Uh, so all you gotta do is get some form of pressurized gas or actually you don't even need to do that. If you wanna get some sort of liquid, whatever you wanna fill in here, all you gotta do is just take out the valve, uh, get a syringe or something, put it in, um, and then use some pressurized gas or something, whatever you wanna use. Just add a little bit of uh, pressure in here uh, just so it propels the fuel out, filling it up. All the way up, half of the way up. <laughs> all right, yeah, so now it's ready to go. So all we gotta do, snap it in. Just like that. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's cool. Yup. Boom, there you go guys. Uh, there's Web Shooter 3.0, 4.0, oh Jesus. Whatever version we're on, uh, made it quite a few of these now. This one particular I'd like, again, modeled it after the new Spider-Man Homecoming Web Shooter. Um, obviously it doesn't look exactly like it, like I think, and their bands are black and they don't light up. So honestly, this one might be cooler. Other ideas I have, so like maybe have like webs in one, ice in another, fire in the other. I don't know. That's why you should subscribe and stay tuned for some more awesome builds. Not to mention, I'm doing a bunch of other cool stuff. We got jet engines on this channel, fire, we got superpowers, spy gadgets, all the cool stuff. Pretty much it for this video, guys. Once again, I hope you did like it. Any suggestions you have, drop them down below. Instagram link also below. Giving uh, some web shooters away. Like the pic of the web shooter, follow me on the IG. I'm just killing it with these rhymes today. So there you go guys, that's it for me for this video and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.